I'm Ellie Maas and today I'm going to talk about the Colonna Centennial Time Capsule. This public artwork was commissioned by Orchard Park Shopping Center in partnership with the city to commemorate 1905 to 2005. The unveiling in 2005 took place inside Orchard Park Shopping Center with a large number of people in attendance. Ms. Litty Burker has made the photos of the entire process of making the apple. They are kept inside the time capsule compartment. Also 9 by 12 acid-free envelopes of citizens' letters and or their photos to be opened by future generations have been placed inside with other artifacts. The time capsule contains two compartments. One will be opened in 25 years, in 2030, and replenished every 25 years until 2105. The other has been sealed until 2105 and will be opened then. Geert made a maquette, or scaled model, to show the initial idea for the large apple in bronze with a stainless steel stem, to sit atop a stainless steel column divided in two separate compartments containing the 25 and 100 year time capsule artifacts. The bronze apple is over 5 feet in size and weighs over 700 pounds with the stem of stainless steel. The surface of the apple is divided into several surfaces and planes. Transportation and installation of the sculpture during various stages of the process requires serious planning and expertise. In the studio, we have rolled numerous slabs of clay and prepared them to model the big apple over an armature 5 feet in size. During the entire modeling process, with specific tools, the clay is to be kept moist and needs careful spraying from time to time. The work in progress needs to be covered with plastic till the shapes and surfaces eventually have been achieved after days of effort and concentration. Then molds have to be made and we are very skilled in making plaster molds together. These are needed and prepared to make the artwork again in wax positive that has to be delivered to a foundry to be rough cast in bronze. The foundry requires several skilled people for the casting process including coring, sprueing, ceramic shell, burnout, pouring metal which is over 95% copper and the remainder tin, chipping, welding and sandblasting. Back in the studio, after weeks or months, the cast, welded and sandblasted artwork in bronze needs to be polished from coarse to fine with many specified tools and hand sanding. A delicate process taking hours and concentration follows to create the patina on the bronze sculpture by applying heat and chemicals. While Ellie and her assistants carefully keep the sculpture at the right temperature, Geert will be spraying his prepared chemicals till he is satisfied with the changing status of the bronze. He will then apply a special wax on the finished hot surface for shine and protection. Bronze sculptures are known all over the world for thousands of years. Outside, bronze will age gracefully. In the meantime, to utilize the indoor mall space for shoppers, Orchard Park has placed the Colonna Centennial time capsule outside, close to the food court entrance at Springfield Road.
Thank you for your interest in the work of artist Geert Maas. Please contact us if you require any further information.